the 10th time, it's Alabama and South Carolina. High, short kickoff that Watson fields at the nine. Finds a seam outside, spins forward to the 27, maybe the 28-yard line. Five wide receivers for the Gamecocks on second down from the 30. Kimry to the air, completes it to Watson underneath. Derek squirts forward to the 39, maybe the 40-yard line, and that will be the initial first down of the game and a nice, safe throw for Eric Kimry to start exactly things off. Exactly what the doctor ordered there. The rollout for Kimry completes it. That'll be a first down. Brewer powers down to the Alabama 45, and South Carolina moves the chains again. It's another third down for Carolina. Shuffle pass to Watson. Another first down as he spins inside the 30. Finally brought down at the Alabama 28. Third down again. The Gamecocks already two for two converting third down so far on this drive. Bama shows blitz, and here they come. Kimry unloads, complete. And close to another first down is Brian Scott. Four wide outs, Pinnock, the single setback alongside Eric Kimry. High snap, and Kimry wisely will just fall on it back at the 32. This will be a 54-yard try. Low line drive kick, but good. Had just enough draw on it to hook it in there. We'll check the Carolina defense in a moment. But Alabama opens up in a spread formation. Five wide for Watts, who throws. Bobbitt and intercepted on the first snap of the game. Shannon Wadley stepped in front of the pass, picked it off, and sets South Carolina up with a golden opportunity. Call it a 28-yard field goal for Bethea. And no good. He hooked it left. He converts from 49 yards a moment ago. You better get the points when you can. Third and long as Watts drops deep to throw. Unloads and what a catch by Antonio Carter. He took a hit as he made the sliding grab and that will be a first down. Galloway to the right of Tyler Watts who lines up in the gun. Trying to set up the screen back to the near side to Terry Jones Jr. For Terry down the sidelines to the South Carolina 45. Watch to throw again. Nice grab, Antonio Carter. That was behind him, and he made another sensational catch, and we'll have another first down. This time, Watts goes from the shotgun as they empty the backfield. That pass is partially deflected, but the catch made by Freddie Millens. He's two out of four on the year. 44-yard try on the way. And good. But still, for a freshman, it's tough to play in this kind of a ball game. Play action, and he'll keep it. Fumbles the football, still loose. And Alabama's got it. That's what you were talking about, Tyler. Exactly. On third and 11, Zal loads up the shotgun. Down the middle, complete to Antonio Carter, and very, very close to the first down marker. Fourth down, Alabama will go for it. Galloway gets the handoff and will not get the first down. Averaging about 37 yards a kick. And Freddie Millens back deep for the Crimson Tide. High, wobbly kick that Millens fields. Reverses field as a flag comes in. More flags come in. Millens backtracking. Brought down at the 39-yard line. A look at some of the impressive 
numbers put up by this South Carolina defense, and more on that in a moment. The rollout for Zao, who completes it to Antonio Carter. Surprise, surprise. Officially, second and nine as Zao goes to the air. Caught by McCadley over the middle. Nice grab in traffic by Jason McCadley. The triple stack formation to the near side for Zao in the shotgun. Looking, looking, throw, caught, Carter, first down. To the air again, the slant to Michael James, who makes his first grab. Not only of the season, but of his Alabama career at the first down. First and goal for Alabama. Toss sweep, Myrie hurdles one man to the end zone. Does he get in? No. They'll mark him about a foot shy on second and goal. Myrie, touchdown. Well, on that drive, David, Todd, I, I think the Alabama team found a spark in Andrew Zhao. He came in and really ran the offense with a great deal of confidence. Lane Bearden, kick back for Bama. Short again as Watson takes it at the 12. Running room outside for Watson across the 40. Finally rolled out of bounds around the 45-yard line. And in the last four ball games, that's been one of their better trades. Draw to Watson. Right up the gut. Crosses midfield into Alabama territory down at the 42. First down. Nice grab by Brian Scott. Inside handoff to Watson. He spins off tacklers. Loses the helmet again. Third and inches. And they'll throw. Kimry rolling, throwing, intercepted. Marcus Spencer stepped in front picked it off. Spencer collects his second interception of the season. The tide starts back up deep. But we'll have a little breathing room now as McCadley makes the catch at the 18. And Ryan Brewer back deep to field it. Wobbly short kick that Brewer fields on the run. Powerful running by Brewer. Tide crowds the line on defense. Time for Kimry to throw. He completes it over the middle. And that will be good for the first down as Jermail Kelly made the sliding catch. Gamecock need the 24 for the first down. Kimry unloads. Caught. Out of bounds. Brian Scott. Second down. Back to Watson, make it Pennock. Inside the five at another first down for the Gamecock. All that coming up in just a couple of moments. The first, the fail, from 21 yards out. Off the upright, no good. Had it in the middle of the field and still cooked it. So once more, the Gamecocks knock on the door, but come away empty. You see Reed there, just not a lot of rhythm to it. He immediately hooks that football, which is a guy is not pushing through on it. So Lou Holtz and his club head to the locker room, trailing, but only by a score of 10 to three. <laughs> Second down. Zow on the bootleg, throws to McCadley, right in the middle of four Carolina defenders. Millens at quarterback, sweeping around the left side. Freddie will fall forward to the 49-yard line and have the first down. James, the man in motion for the Crimson Tide. Zow 
Bell with time. Completes to McCadley. Takes a couple of hits. Goes down inside the 40, and that will be just enough for the first down. Movement along the front. Flags come in. And it may be fourth and a little more manageable now if the Gamecocks got in the neutral zone too soon. That will call play. That is, uh, Zav put a little inflection into his cadence. The kick on the way. Long enough and good. So the penalty on South Carolina gives Alabama the chance to try a long field goal and Neil Thomas nails it right down the middle. They'll give it to Watson who breaks it outside. Five, six, seven, maybe eight yards. Long count as Pinkins waits on the snap in the shotgun. Keeps it himself, noses the football up near the 40, and we'll pick up the first down. Whoops, a fake, and a first down. Lou Holtz digs into his bag of tricks again. This one works. Throw into the middle. What a catch in traffic. Jermail Kelly. Heck of a throw, but maybe an even better catch. Looking, throwing, end zone, touchdown. Jermail Kelly. Petty had all day to survey the field. He threw another strike, his second touchdown pass of the season. Lane Bearden to punt. Beautiful high spiral. Sends Brewer back. He makes the fair catch at his own 26-yard line on first down. Hit, down he goes. And Quan Odom standing his ground and planning Phil Petty. Petty. Escape trouble. Running for the marker. He will step out of bounds and have, I believe, the first down. There is supposed to be a little orange marker to give that side of the field an idea how far they need to go, but not one there, and the Whoa. Gamecocks will have to punt it. Dean hangs that one up high, and Freddie Millens forced to make the fair catch. Third down. Zow. Caught by Carter. And that'll be good for a first down. He picked that one right off the turf. He had six catches coming into today. Toss sweep to Galloway with some running room. Still on his feet. Galloway. Touchdown, Alabama. Petty, looking long. Caught at midfield by Jermail Kelly. So now first and 15. Play action for Petty. Going back down the sideline. And another sensational catch. Petty. Flushed out, flag comes in, pass is intercepted by Milo Lewis. Takes it back to the 18-yard line. High formation for Zao. Sets the throw. Complete Millen. Across the 30. Out to the 32, and he'll have a first down. Bearden again to punt for Bama. Kick. Brewer watches this one sail over his head. John T. Ray gets out of the way. It checked up a little bit and will be cut down right at the 10 yard line. Tyler Dean will punt from his own end zone as Freddie Millen 
Work at midfield. Low wobbly kick. It will take a Carolina roll. He's just over. First and 15. I mean, certainly it's got Carolina. Zow looking. Intercepted. Picked off by Sheldon Brown. Tackled inside the 30 and what we were talking about a series ago, the defense not only making a stop, but getting the turnover and helping the offense. Second down to the end zone. Touchdown. Jermail Kelly. Shades of last week. Just to the other side. The fade route into the end zone and Kelly runs underneath for the score. Running time for Bearden once again. No pressure. High wobbly kick. Brewer field. Returns to the 30-yard line where he's brought down. Gamecocks start at their 30. Petty with time over the middle. Nice catch by Scott. So the Tide indeed has done a nice job of Keeping him in check. Inside handoff goes to Brewer. On a little bit of a gadget play, Ryan Brewer. Stacked up as he nears the 42, but that will be enough to move the sticks once more. He goes in motion, he gets the handoff again. A flag flies as Brewer is stopped at the 45, and there may have been an illegal block. Foul is an illegal tight back box against the offense 15 yards to the end of the run still first down still first down but a mile to go pump fake Petty somehow gets out of trouble unloads intercepted threw it right to Milo Lewis fourth down at the 40 that was a dead ball Personal foul by the offensive team, 15 yards from the out-of-bounds spot, first down. And they've almost equaled their season total today, have the game top. Galloway, the ball carrier, right up the middle. Ahmad Galloway nearing a first down. Second and about a foot. And Ahmad Galloway will pick up. The first down. Zal, the rollout. He'll keep it himself. And I believe we'll have the first down with the lunge right there at the end. Still first and goal, but now football sitting just outside the eight. Confusion. Zal gets away. There's no question that was a broken play. Petty from the gun. First down. The shuffle pass to Watson. That is without question their favorite play. First down. Delay handoff to Watson. Spinning off tackler. Carries it to the Alabama 45-yard line. Third down and a short two for the Gamecocks. Quarterback sneak by Petty. And I believe it will depend on the spot. They have to take it to the Alabama 31 for the first down. Petty under pressure. Down and five for Alabama. Nothing fancy to go to Galloway, and he will come up about three yards short of the first down and last time out taken by South Carolina. What do you think, guys? This is going to give Coach DeBose enough breathing room a little bit. Oops. Uh, got a penalty on Coach Holt. Coach Holt went out on the field, so. I'm also convinced that Coach Holt's record will stay alive, getting a team into a bowl his second year. I hope you're right. What a great turnaround that would be. What oh, a super story. 
That will be the final play of the game. Mike Dubos, a sigh of relief as he heads across the field to shake hands with Lou Holt. Number five was the first guy that got to Coach Holt, though, and hugged him. Andrew Zow saying hello to Coach Holt. Lou Holt falls to one and three as a head coach against Alabama. But his team put on a good show today, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. This game was really in doubt up until the long run by Galloway. 